A big announcement from the System76 team, we finally get the official release of the Cosmic Desktop based on Rust. And with that, we get it alongside Pop OS 24.04 long-term support. So I'm excited to check things out here initially and talk about the letter from the team and CEO. It's quite exciting to see and finally get this release of the Cosmic Rust Desktop after covering it for years. And I'm also excited for all the Pop OS users as we finally get a new image and install. Let's first talk about some of the things to check out as soon as you install Pop OS 24.04, at least some of the things I'm excited about. So if we open things up, one of the first things you should check out is tiling the current workspace. You can change and toggle quickly between tiled workspaces and non-tiled workspaces. And if you open up a few apps, you can instantly see what tiling does for you. And using super arrow keys, you can get around even to the next workspace. Super up arrow and down arrow allow you to easily go between workspaces and super right and left allow you to go between between the individual windows. If you do super shift up or down, that just lets you reorganize things. Also left and right, again, just lets you reorganize things. It's such a great experience with this mixed tiling and floating mode. You can choose to click and move things around if you want, or you can simply stack items. I mean, there's just endless options. So definitely play around with this if you get into the new Rust Cosmic desktop. Another place to search for your applications, if you hold down the super key, a redesign launcher will pop up and now this is where you can search for applications or type a question mark to get more syntaxes that you can run directly in the search or the launcher and this one's fantastic because you can calculate things including look at this more complex math it says 10 joules divided by 196 to the second power and that equals four kilowatts per second quite fascinating you can do web searches now as well open recently opened documents do a basic file search or file navigation with tab completion an absolute wonderful item. And finally, the last thing I'm gonna suggest is getting into the settings and checking out the desktop as it has many different things you can change, but appearance is one of the best ones with this new import and export feature allows you to import and export your own setups. So if you wanna change your accent colors around, for example, and what color the window background styles, so on and so forth, they've thought of a lot of it. You also have control of your gaps. So you can change this around. I know some people are gonna complain about this one. You have have control over it, you can save it so that you have no gaps, export it, and then re-import at any time if you wanna play around. This is a fantastic feature also in Pop! OS. So having Pop! OS 24.04 with, with Cosmic Desktop is a big deal for Linux users as it's not just another update, it's a whole new desktop experience. For those of you unaware, the Cosmic Desktop is built on top of Rust and it's built from the ground up, meaning from scratch. It doesn't work like the rest of them. For example, GNOME or KDE, it's a complete new modern desktop environment and it's rare to see a company focus on this for so many years and getting it right with that real built-in tiling that we saw comparing itself to i3 or sway i love the fact that again you can do the optional tiling that it's mouse and keyboard friendly and has easy customization controls it has windows stacks and snapping workspaces and multi-display setup done right and what a lot of people are looking forward to is the new pop os 24.04 long-term support it's definitely been a minute. I believe April 25th, 2022 was the last Pop! OS long-term support release. So over three years later, we're finally seeing another Pop! OS release. But you can download Pop! today, Pop! OS with Cosmic. Also, why use Pop? Well, meet Pop! OS used by over 1 million people. And then they give us some reasons, including productivity, yours with the click, secure by design, software supercharged, where you can get the complete experience by having a laptop desktop with their operating system on it and their desktop environment on it. And why is that such a great thing? Well, they're building a entire platform from the ground up, from the hardware to the software. On most Linux systems, the hardware vendors can blame Linux, the distros can blame kernels or drivers, the desktop blames compositors, so on and so forth, right? And the only one that gets screwed at the end of the day is the user. Well, with System76, one team owns the full stack and that's a daunting task. It shows their commitment to not only Linux, but to the user base that's using it. And that's why people really love this. Bugs get solved not shuffled around and we can get an improvement between the hardware and the software because they can optimize their own platform. So definitely check out hardware if you're interested. There is a sale going on right now but I wanna get back to the desktop environment. Before I get into the comments and letter from Carl, their CEO, just a basic look around. If you click down here, you get your launcher. 
workspaces to the right of that, applications to the right of that. It looks sort of like what you would find in GNOME. I love how everything's oversized. We can add our own groups and search for apps in this. Firefox is a default web browser. We got Cosmic Files to search through our files. Cosmic Text Editor, this is also built from the ground up. Then we have the Cosmic Terminal, a great terminal. Love using this thing. And while I'm in the terminal, let's check something out because I know a lot of you are going to be asking about this. If we load up HTOP, we're currently using 1.69 gigs out of 8 gigs of memory. No swap space being used, although there is around 12 gigs allocated, 110 tasks, 295 threads, 76 kernel threads. And the Cosmic Compositor, along with the terminal currently, seem to be using most of the memory up. The terminal itself is using around 3.1%. This puts it in the realm of GNOME and KDE as far as memory usage. As with this official brand new desktop release, we haven't had time to go through memory trimming quite yet. And it's also written in Rust, which trades a bit more RAM for the memory safety stability and fewer crashes that the language is known for. It's also got a Wayland first design and aggressive caching, which keeps UI and animation smooth by RAM instead of having to recompute all of the time. Overall, the experience is very smooth. I've definitely enjoyed it and I think it's only getting better. I'm going to do a deep dive into the desktop environment and Pop! OS 24.04 long-term support. This isn't the video for that. If you want to watch that video, make sure to subscribe below and smash that like button on the way back up. Hype it up so this gets out to more users. I'm very excited to start using this desktop. I'm going to be putting it on my laptop and trying it out just to see how well it actually works. Now that we have the final release, I do have a beta release over there. I'm wondering if I could just simply upgrade that one. That'd be great. Cross your fingers. Not sure yet, but again, I'm going to do an in-depth review just like I've done in the past. This is really for more of an announcement and news type video because I'm super excited. Let's get into what Carl and the team had to say about the announcement and release of Pop! OS 24.04. All right, just in, Pop! OS 24.04 long-term support released a letter from our founder. We begin with the definition of, of Epic, and it says, Pop! OS 24.04 long-term support with Cosmic Desktop Environment Epic 1. If you're ambitious enough or maybe just crazy enough, there eventually comes a time when you realize you've reached the limits of the current potential and must create something completely new if you're going to go further. This year, System76 turned 20. Congratulations to S System76 and the team for 20 years we have shipped Linux computers. For seven years we've built Pop! OS, the Linux distribution. Three years ago it became clear we had reached the limit of our current potential and had to create something new. Today we break through that limit and release Pop! OS 24.04 long-term support with Cosmic Desktop Environment. And thank you to the System76 team for all your hard work on this new desktop environment that you've built for Linux users. Again, I've been following this since the beginning over three years ago now and I've loved to see the progress and I've loved communicating and working with the team as well. So I hope this desktop environment is a complete success. Let's keep going. Today is special not only in that it's the culmination of, of over three years of work, but even more so that System76 has built a complete desktop environment for the open source community. We're proud of this contribution to the open source ecosystem. Cosmic is built on the ethos that the best open source projects enable people to not only use them, but to build with them. Cosmic is modular and composable. It's the flagship experience for Pop! OS in its own way and can be adapted by anyone that wants to build their own unique user experience for Linux. And this is nice because they didn't just build a product here. They want others to learn from it, extend it, reuse parts of it, and of course, build on top of it in an open way. This not only strengthens their category of, of a Linux operating system and now desktop, but it also strengthens Linux beyond their own product. Again, awesome to hear. Thank you for your patience while we build Cosmic. We know it's been a long ride and appreciate you taking it with us. Pop! OS 24.04 long-term support doesn't feel like moving forward three years. It feels like leaping forward a decade. This day marks the foundation for our next 20 years and the first of what will be many rapid innovations. And I'm looking forward to those innovations. And thank you to the System76 customers. Cosmic is entirely funded by the System76 hardware sales. Pat yourselves on the back. You've made history. Not only are you getting the best Linux hardware on the planet, you're investing in 
and the future of Linux desktop that we all love. I hope you love what we've built for you. Now go out there and create, push the limits and make incredible things and have fun doing it. Signed off, Carl Rochelle, the founder and CEO of System76. What a great message from the CEO as it's an honest story that shows what a clear long-term vision can bring to the Linux community and treats its customers as partners as they have a clear commitment to Linux and they've always been transparent with us as far as the development has gone. It's exciting to also see that they're going to be optimizing things here in the short term. Can't wait to give the Cosmic Rust desktop experience a full-on review. Anyways, you can download Pop OS 24.04 long-term support at system76.com slash pop. Just hit the download button and you can choose between two different versions, one for AMD graphics or integrated graphics. The recommendation is four gigs of RAM at least, 16 gigs of storage and a 64-bit processor. And in today's day and age, we all want to save on RAM. So the less RAM we use, the more RAM we have to use for other things with also the same recommended specs, you can download Pop! OS with the NVIDIA ISO so that it works right away with without having to install special drivers. They also have introduced a new Pop! OS 24.04 long-term support for ARM. Same recommendation, but this is for ARM64 processors and not Intel or AMD, which is very interesting as the brand new Pop! OS 24.04 has support for ARM now. Official support for the System76 Thelio Astra with ARM support enabled via tow boat. That's definitely an interesting one. It also has seamless hybrid graphics now. Automatic GPU selection for better battery life comes with Pop! OS 24.04 and of course the Cosmic Desktop environment. But as I was talking about that Thelio Astra, they also have one more image that has NVIDIA for ARM as well. You can also upgrade via terminal, which is quite surprising. Let me know in the comment section how this goes. But anyways, they're saying you can upgrade from Pop! OS 22.04 long-term support all the way up to Pop! OS 24.04 long-term support. That's three and a half years for the desktop and the operating system. So hopefully that works out very well for people. I will say with the Cosmic Desktop environment, some of the main things is, is great vertical layouts and pin workspaces that can even survive reboots. Pretty powerful deal. We've already looked at the intuitive window tiling manager that they have, which you can easily toggle on and off tiling if you want to give it a shot at least. Not many desktops give you that option. It has excellent mixed DPI support for multi display handling, great customization, an awesome launcher and navigation experience with it. Windows can stack, snap, and even remain sticking. And finally, just about every application on this thing, including their terminal, their text editor, their file browser, are all built with Rust and all catered to the Linux user. Pop! OS 24.04 long-term support with, with the Cosmic Rust-based desktop is great for everyone. Whether you're a long-time Pop! OS user, a dev, a creator, someone trying to get into Linux for the first time, this is a great experience and I highly suggest it to anyone. Cosmic and the System76 team has shown what it's like when you focus on the hardware, software, and open source values and have finally set a higher bar for every Linux operating system and team moving forward. I do believe that they're shaping the future of Linux here. After three years of hard work, I'm happy to finally be using and checking out the official release of Pop! OS 24.04 with the Cosmic Desktop as its native desktop. Let me know if you're excited in the comments section below. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe below and smash that like button for more videos like this. I will again be doing an in-depth review. Don't miss out on that. Also, catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.